hi and welcome to my channel where I discuss anything and everything autism and biomedical treatment related. I am not a medical professional. I am simply making this video as an educational tool to help other parents. So today I wanted to talk about something that I see parents seeking advice for quite frequently and something that is very common for an autism family to struggle with and that is aggressive behavior. So I wanted to kind of go over a few different factors that could be contributing to aggressive behavior. These are not the only things that could be causing aggressive behavior in your child. I'm just sharing a few different things that might be worth looking into. Um, so there's a few different factors that come into play as to why a child might be moody, depressed, or aggressive. A major contributing factor to aggressive behavior is inflammation. Not only just a full systemic body inflammation, but specifically brain inflammation. So some of the things that you could do to reduce inflammation is go on an anti-inflammatory diet. You could give your child natural anti-inflammatory such as curcumin, turmeric, or um, CBD is a very popular one. There's a lot of research and studies conducted on using cannabinoids for the treatment of autism and aggressive behavior. Um, there's a very high success rate. And then another thing that we like to use here in our household to minimize or reduce inflammation is essential oils, specifically frankincense, and we apply it in a roller ball mixed with coconut oil to the base of the skull, so on the back of the neck. There are other ways that you can reduce inflammation. I am just sharing what it is that we are doing, things that we have used with success. So aside from inflammation, it's also extremely vital that your child has balanced neurotransmitters. So neurotransmitters are the chemicals in the brain that affect mood and behavior. Um, so there's a few specific ones that correlate with aggressive behavior and autism. So um, first, you want to make sure that you're reducing glutamate. Glutamate is in excess is very neurotoxic and it causes a child to be in a fight or flight response, be very hyperactive. Um, they could stim a lot to try and self-regulate. So the way to balance glutamate is you would you could take L-theanine. L-theanine is an amino acid that helps balance out glutamate and GABA. So when glutamate is elevated, GABA is reduced. When GABA is elevated, glutamate is re reduced. So ideally, you want to have a healthy balance of the two. Um, so the L-theanine can reduce glutamate. Also, you may want to consider supplementing with glutamine. So glutamine is derived from glutamic acid and it is the precursor to producing GABA. GABA is an extremely important neurotransmitter that controls mood and behavior. You can also supplement with GABA directly. Um, serotonin, so serotonin is the feel good, happy neurotransmitter. So 5-HTP is another amino acid that is the precursor to serotonin. So if you want a natural and safe way to increase serotonin, I would look into using 5-HTP. 5-HTP is very relaxing and calming and it can also improve sleep. So you can give it during the day if there's a lot of hyperactivity, but you can also give it before bed if your child is having some sleep issues. So we discussed the possibility of inflammation, which is highly prevalent in children with autism, and we discuss neurotransmitters. So last but not least, the final factor I wanted to bring to your attention of to what could be contributing to your child's aggressive behavior is adrenal. So your adrenal gland controls your stress hormones, specifically cortisol and adrenaline. And when they are not balanced properly, it can cause a child to be very anxious, be in that fight or flight state where they're just constantly on edge. It can cause things like sound sensitivity, touch sensitivity, and just make a child feel overall just very irritable and uncomfortable. So some of the ways that you could treat adrenal fatigue is um, adaptogenic herbs. 
such as ashwagandha and rhodiola, licorice root extract. Um, you could also use a bovine derived dried glandular supplement such as adrenal cortex. Last but not least, you could use phosphatoserine. Phosphatoserine makes a really good PM adrenal support. So you can give this before bed. Some of the signs that you might anticipate seeing in a child that has adrenal fatigue is inability to fall asleep, hyperactivity at night, middle of the night waking, or sleep disturbances, in addition to the other things that I mentioned. I almost forgot there's one more thing that you might want to consider trying or looking into for your child if they have very aggressive behavior and that is supplementing with lithium orotate. Lithium is often depleted in people that are very mercury toxic which we know there is a high prevalence of mercury toxicity in the autism community. If you have done a hair mineral and metal analysis of your child in the second section, which is the mineral section, you will find lithium. And if it is all the way to the left, which I commonly see in more than 50% of the hair tests that um, hair tests that families share with me, it is all the way depleted, all the way to the left. And some children tend to do really well and and make big progress with their mood and behavior once they are being supplemented with lithium. So just to do a quick recap today, we discussed some of the possible contributing factors to your child's aggressive behavior. We discussed things like GI issues, diet, removing anti-inflammatory foods, removing foods that could be um, excitotoxins, which could affect the neurotransmitters in the brain. We discussed the different neurotransmitters and the role that they play in mood and behavior. We discussed adrenal fatigue. And last but not least, most importantly, we discussed inflammation and ways to reduce that. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. You can also find me on the new autism platform, the web address to become a member on this site is www.meetstella.app. I will also leave a link to that in the description alongside my Facebook group, which is called Autism Biomedical Treatments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!